And finally, New York City is known for pizza, but you have never seen a pie prepared like this one. Our science producer, Sikhan Akpan, visited Columbia University, where engineers are lighting up new ways to cook a slice. The New York pizza slice, as the world knows it, has been around since the 1930s. That's when Frank Mastro, an Italian immigrant and salesman, invented the gas deck oven. This simple innovation turned New York pizza from a laborious item that could only be made in bedroom-sized coal ovens into the easy-bake, grab-and-go food that you find on street corners worldwide. But just as New Yorkers rarely sit still, the pizza oven continues to evolve. Uptown at Columbia University, a lab is crafting ways to improve nutrition by 3D printing pizza and cooking it with laser beams. That's right, laser beams. It's very easy for a machine to kind of layer in different types of uh, nutritious elements into your food without you even knowing it and without the taste changing um, too much. Jonathan Blutinger is a grad student in Hod Lipson's Creative Machines Lab, where this tech was invented. So the printer has a, an array of food cartridges, where in each one of these cartridges, you can have a different material. So dough, sauce, and cheese, for example, as three different ingredients. And then on this cartridge, our machine can pick up one ingredient, extrude it onto a platform, just moving around in a, in a 2D way and then they can pick up another ingredient and do the same and follow this over and over again. Once the cheese and tomato sauce are spread, or should I say squeezed, onto the dough, everything gets tossed into their mini oven. Their lasers shine at two mirrors, which are angled in certain directions by commands given through custom-built software. This selectively cooks part of the food with much greater precision. That's good for printed food because the ingredients are packed close together and their final pizza is millimeters thin. So the pizza you're gonna see, yes, it is very small. It'll naturally scale up um, as we kind of improve the printing process and we get more efficient with it. The end result is... Delicioso. <laughs> in truth, it tastes much more like a crunchy pizza bagel, but in many ways, their approach mimics the thinking behind that original pizza oven. Much like Mastro's invention, 3D printing could make pizza even more personal. The biggest value is the fact that you can customize nutrition for someone. A big space where this could be a, a great value is um, in hospital settings uh, where people maybe have certain nutritional deficiencies and you need to supplement that either with medicine or with certain vitamin additives. NASA has invested in 3D printing pizza for deep space missions, but Blutinger sees stellar prospects for this tech closer to the ground. He thinks digitizing food can help people stay healthy. Imagine a printer in an app that learns your eating habits. It could schedule the preparation of your meals and improve your diet. In five to 10 years, we think this could be a clear possibility. The technology's there, it's just a matter of time and marketing it in the, in the right way for people. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Sikhan Akpan, noshing on some za. Not sure how appetizing it is, but thank you, Sikhan.